Welcome to a very special episode of Farm Finds from my farm here in Liberia, West Africa. While the vehicle that I'm gonna share with you today is not old, and it's not particularly rare in this part of the world, it is unique and I believe a modern day classic. pickup is a Land Cruiser 70 series. Specifically, it's the 79 model double cab. I bought it new in 2019 and it has proven to be unstoppable. Now the 70 series Land Cruiser was introduced nearly 40 years ago in 1984 and it has changed very little in design and function since its introduction. The double cab that I purchased was introduced only 10 years ago in 2012. It is my opinion that this Land Cruiser, that the 70 series, is the ultimate SUV in the world today. It puts the utility in sports utility vehicle. From ease of maintenance to parts interchangeability to parts availability uh, and just if a mechanic knows how to work on any 70 series they can work on every 70 series. Now the heart of the 70 series that is what makes it dear to so many people here in Africa is its excellent durability and off-road capabilities. My double cab I also have a 2010 model 76 wagon I've owned that wagon for nearly eight years and it has proven incredibly reliable both of them have the 4.2 liter 1hc engine it's an inline six-cylinder diesel and it is bulletproof if there is one complaint that I have about the 70 series it is that even though it's built in Portugal it is not emission certified in the EU, and I suspect that's the same reason that you cannot buy it in the US, you cannot import it in the US. It is my belief that the main reason this engine is so bulletproof and the pickup is so durable, so reliable, is the anemic diesel engine. It only makes 129 horsepower and I think 210 foot-pounds of torque. We all know the fact is, horsepower and torque break things. And so if you make an engine that's just not that strong, the car is going to be reliable. But the fact is, I've never gotten stuck in it. It always gets out. You know, maybe it can't go up a steep hill in fifth gear, but it can go up in second gear. And it gets me where I need to go every single time. Back in 2019, when I was ordering this pickup, one thing became immediately clear. I'm not ordering a luxury car. And so when I was looking at options, I wasn't looking at leather seats. I was looking at rubber floor mats. I wasn't looking at uh, heated seats, power windows, and that kind of stuff. I was looking at deciding, do I want lockable differentials? Do I want to put air lockers on this or not? Uh, I was looking at options like extra filtration for the oil, for the fuel system, uh, larger fuel tanks, heavy duty suspension, how big of a winch I want. Do I want a bull bar? Do I want a heavy duty bumper in back? A lot of the things, it's just all about utility, durability, and uh, just making it through these jungle roads. It's sometimes uh, nothing more than a path that I drive on. It's all about getting from point A to point B no matter what stands in your way. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something. I hope I maybe even inspired you or made you a little bit jealous. That's okay. I'll see you next time.